Moses speaking to the children of Israel. You so-called Belizeans. My brothers and sisters that are here from Carousel. Guess what? You're the children of Israel according to the Bible. You specifically are right here from the tribe of Zebulon. Right here. From, from Guatemala all the way down to Panama. You're specifically for the tribe of Zebulon. You didn't even know that before we came here. You didn't know that. You thought you, I'm just a Belizean. I'm just, I'm just going to live to die. Not knowing that you're the greatest thing walking the face of the planet. Because God chose you above all the other nations. Doing the right thing? Okay, what's the right? Give me an example of a right thing. Be honest, based on what? Where can we where can you go to to say, I know for a fact I'm obeying God? Church? So if, if, if the pastor say, run around in a circle five times you, and that's how you obey God, is that true? If he says run around the church five times, and that's, that's how you obey God. How do you know if you're really obeying God based on what the pastor said? You wouldn't know, right? You have to go here. The Bible, this is where you learn how to obey God. The Bible. The only way you know if I'm telling you the truth about how to obey God is if I get it from here. Not just by, not just by speaking. Not just by saying Oh, we just gonna go to church whenever we want, and you obey God. How do we know that? We gotta go to the Bible. Give me that numbers. You hear something? Yeah, come on. Malachi chapter two and verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So guess what? The Bible says the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It, he should keep knowledge. Your pastors, your ministers here in Belize, they should keep knowledge. Come on. And they just see. The law at his mouth. And they should seek the law. So the knowledge that the pastors, the priests, the ministers, that they should be speaking is what? The law at his mouth. The law. The laws of God. So I'm going to show you an example. The clothing. The dress code. What's the dress code for a woman that says she loves God? What should she be wearing? What you got? Huh? All dresses? Okay. That sounds good. How do you know that's true? How do we know that, that that's true? Huh? Because of what? Oh, because none is dressed like that. What do you say? What's with? What's up? Okay, so now watch this. Hold that. Get Sirach 17 and 11. I'm going to show you something. Because what we're going over right now is your heritage. The Bible is the history book of these people right here. The Bible is your history book. The Bible is the book of your heritage. The Bible is the book of your culture. So in order for you to learn how to dress, where must you go? Your book. Your book. Your law book. Your constitution. This is your heritage. Read that. So what? Chapter 17 and verse 11. Besides this, he gave them know. God gave the children of Israel. You so-called Belizeans. African Americans for the tribe of Judah, myself. He gave us knowledge. And the law of life for inheritance. And he gave us his laws for inheritance. He gave us his laws for inheritance. Now let's read about the heritage. Go back. Let's read the law. We're reading the law of the attire. What should we be wearing? What should sisters be wearing? The dress code. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. What is something that women wear that really belongs to men? Lisa, huh? Pants. You notice how in the world, because you know you got that from? The same race of people that put you in slavery. The same race of people that put white Jesus on every corner, right. in every church, right. in every synagogue. In every seminary, your seminary schools, that's where our sisters, that's where you got the dress code from. The same race.
race of people, they put you in slavery. What did they do? They gave you a trust code. They say, no, you're not going to do what God told you to do. You're going to do what I told you to do. I'm going to beat pants into you. God said, what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you understand that that's trusted, that that's pants. Because what does a woman need a zipper in the front of her pants for? For what? Hey, you smile because you, that don't really make sense, do it? It don't. It don't. The things that we've been taught, that we've been brainwashed in the Christian church, because you know how the church, they say, oh, just love Jesus and it's all good. But that's not in the Bible. God said you have to follow his law. If you love him, follow his laws, which is your heritage. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man. Now watch this. Look. Watch this. There's a trust code even for the men. There's a trust code for us. It says, neither should a man put on a woman's garment. What is something that belongs to women that men should not wear? Huh? You say who? Slippers? Okay. Somebody say something. What you say? Dresses. Dresses. You see how there's confusion here in Belize? You see how simple that is? Boy, child, how old are you, my man? How old are you? 11? My man, who's 11 years old, can understand my sister, how old are you? 10. At 10 and 11 years old, our children understand basic, the basic laws of God. The basic things that God gave us as instruction. My man said, what's your name? Huh? Joby. He said, yo, a man should not wear a dress according to God. He didn't make that up. And a woman should not wear pants because that's what belongs to men. So guess what? We are here in Belize to bring you back to your history, your heritage, your culture, who you are according to the Bible. You're the children of Israel. This guy's chosen people. That's right. Not the white people. Y'all know who Jewish people are? You heard of Jewish people? Are they the chosen people? Are they the chosen people of God? No. You're 100% right. They're not the chosen people of God. Right. They're over there bombing, burning babies. How did the chosen people of God they over there in Israel, the land of Israel right now, murdering babies? Y'all heard of that? In Palestine, they're killing Palestinians by the thousands. What? How are they the chosen people of God? They're not. The chosen people of God are you, the children of the slave trade. That's right. Those that, those that had their land stolen from them, all these stores up and down, uh, uh, where we at? All, all these stores up and down here. Do we own any of these stores? No. We don't own these stores. Who owns these stores? White folks, who else? Indian. Indians, Chinese. Chinese, they own the stores in a country that rightfully belongs to you. Right. Like, how does that make sense? Deuteronomy 28 15. How does it make sense that you have all these nations that come into your country, steal your resources, yeah. and sell it back to you 10 times as high? Yeah. They got it for free, they sell it to you for $100, yeah. $200, $1,000. How does that happen in your country? Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not argue unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. You so called Belizeans. My brothers and sisters that are here from Carousel. Guess what? You're the children of Israel according to the Bible. You specifically are right here from the tribe of Zebulon. Right here. From, from Guatemala all the way down to Panama. You're specifically for the tribe of Zebulon. You didn't even know that before we came here. You didn't know that. You thought, you, oh, I'm just a Belizean. I'm just, I'm just going to live to die. Not knowing that you're the greatest thing walking the face of the planet. Because God chose you above all the other nations. Matter of fact, hold that. Seven and six. God chose you above all the other nations. He didn't choose the East Indians. He didn't choose the Chinese. Right. He didn't choose the Ty uh, Taiwanese. Right. He didn't choose white people over you. Right. God chose you 
as his special people. My sister right here in the way. My brother, my sister in the red shirt. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Real quick. Real quick. Yes, you. Yes, you. Right here. I want to show you something. Come, my brother. Come up. Come up, old man. What are we out here teaching? You so-called Belizeans, get the Israelites from the child of Zebulon. Get God's chosen people. I'm going to prove that. Because in the Catholic Church, in the Christian Church, they say, oh, it's all love. You just got to love. John 3, 16. God love everybody. Is that biblical? Is that biblical? That God loves everybody? Is it biblical? Let's see. Seven. Do the run. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Let's see if it's biblical that God loves everybody. Come on. For thou art an only people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above. Whoa. It said what? Above. Did it say below? Above. Did it say equal to? Above. God said he chose one nation of people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That don't sound like equality to me. That sounds like God chose one nation of people above all the other nations on the face of the planet. Read that again. Read that. They don't believe me. But let's hear it from the Bible again. For thou art an holy people. Slow down. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. When you're keeping God's commandments, you are a holy people. You are a holy people. What are my sisters in Belize doing wearing pants? That's not your culture. Your culture is to wear dresses. Right. Dresses in a border blue. Right. Your foremothers did. Come on, because God did what? The Lord, the, the Lord thank God, had chosen me to be a special people unto himself. Above. It says what? Above. It didn't say below. It didn't say equal to. God said what? Above. All people that are upon the face of the earth. God said you're above all the other nations on the face of the planet. So now why the Chinese, in, is it, why they in your country stealing your resources and selling it back to you for a hundred times what they paid for it? 2815, why does that happen to the people of Belize? Why don't the people of Belize go to China and do that? Why don't the people of Belize go, uh, Belize go to India and do that? Why don't they go to Israel? Why don't they go to America and colonize their land and their resources? Right. Come on. 22 1, chapter 28 and verse 43. Come on. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. God said one of the curses that would come upon the children of Israel is that the stranger, meaning the other nations that came to your land, start with the Spanish, Spaniards, that's why the Guatemalans speak Spanish. That's why the Panamanians speak Spanish. That's why Nicaraguans speak Spanish. God said, and that's why here in Belize, you speak English. Why? Because who colonized you? The British. The British. That's why you speak English. The other countries, who are the same people of the tribe of Zebulon, they speak Spanish because of who they were colonized by. The Spaniards are Spanish-speaking Caucasians. That's all they are. Bring it the out. British are English speaking Caucasians. That's it. Right. French people are French speaking Caucasians. They came and colonized your land. Come on. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee that we have. God said these other nations would get up above his people very high. What does it mean that the other nations, the strangers, would get up above the Belizeans very high? Because they would be the ones to run the stores, the tiger stores, the call centers. And they would hire you and pay you what? $2 an hour. You can barely live off of $2, can't even live off of $2 an hour. But they came into your land. They came into your country. They take the jobs from you. They take the resources from you. The fish that grow plenteous in the ocean. What do they do? They they take it, they extract it from the sea, and they sell it to you for $15, $20 fish plate. You can't even get a tire 
without paying a hundred dollars more than what it costs. God said, What? But stranger, that is with thee, thee shall get up above thee, very high. Come on. And thou, and thou, and thou, you children of Israel, shall come down very low. What does it mean to come down very low? You don't got a pocket of piss in or a window to throw it out of. That's what it means for the children of Israel to come down low. No resources. You don't have control over your own natural resources. Your natural resources are stolen from you. Your land is colonized, pillaged, and then it's sold back to you. So guess what? In order for you to get water, you gotta you gotta spend five dollars for the water for a bottle of water. But you only sell, you only got two dollars. Hey, make sure you get that WhatsApp. Get that WhatsApp. We want to exchange contact information so y'all can learn more. You must learn more. We're gonna get your contact information as well because we can see in the spirit that you want to know more. Because when you go to the church, you go to church. Yes, I do. What kind of church you go to? Catholic, Christian? We are Christian. You go to a Christian church? Yeah, Emmanuel, and Revival Service. Okay, okay. So what are they in a Christian church? What do they tell you about Jesus? What do they tell you about Jesus? Huh? I'll put you on the spot, huh? Okay, let me, let me, let me kind of break it down a little bit. What does Jesus look like? What do they say Jesus look like? Like Israel, okay? Okay, but, but, in, but, but all around the world. Okay. Oh, you look like an Indian? The, the same Indian as all the souls? Okay, but, but here's the thing. But they can't give you a script. They never give you a script. Nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. Because Moses and them, only them people there, but then the Bible tell you how it's so strong. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Revelation. Let's show you today. Before you leave here today, you're going to know what Jesus Christ looked like. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head. Let's go to verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revelation or the revealing of Jesus Christ. My people in the leaves, my sister, my sister in the blue, come over. What do we out here teaching? All these Christians out here believe? Nobody wants to come up when you hear the word of God? Come on. Okay, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Come on. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. You got, you got, you got all that all going to work. That's oppression. When we scared, we can't even hear the word of God. Give, give us 30 seconds, all right? I know you got 30 seconds. Come on. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his head were white like wool. You know what wool looks like? It, it's, it, what would we call a wool? Woolly hair. Somebody with woolly hair to have a what? Like that. A afro? Oh, yeah, a bro. Like Come on. As white as snow. Just like his brother, sir. Yeah. And Come his on. eyes were in a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes were red. Come on. And his feet. So now it says his feet. I can see my sister's feet right here, right? It says, and my sister's right here too. It says, and his feet. Like on some fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? Gold and shiny like brown. Right. <laughs> Come on. And his feet. No, like, and his feet. Like on some fine brass. So John and Revelator could see Jesus Christ's feet, the skin on his feet, because they wore sandals, right? It said it what? And his feet, like a fine breath, as if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace or in a fire, what color does it turn? It don't turn white. What color does it come out? If, if I was to light a match to this wood, to this wood, what color would it turn? Huh? What color would it turn? Huh? No. If you put, if you light fire to this, and then you put the fire out, what color does it come out? Black. 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 So what does that say about Jesus Christ's skin? He was what? Black. He was a dark-skinned black man. He looked like an Indian. The Bible said he was a dark-skinned, a dark-skinned black man with a white.
white afro. That's right. He was a dark skinned black man with a fro. You never heard that, did you? Well, he make all the rest, so. He what? I said he make all the rest. Where you see that he made all races? Where you see that he made all races? He made all the Chinese. God make okay. all What did he come for? What did he come to say? What did Jesus come to say? Well, he come for the people there who abide by the rules. It could be Chinese, Indian, Spanish, oh, oh, black. As okay, long as so they abide by the rules. You believe yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. You believe that? Watch this. Let's see, let's see what Jesus Christ said out of his own mouth. Line up with what you just said. Come on. Nation. 